In this video, we're going to take a look at 10 banned candies you should never eat. Keep watching because some of these candies you might even be eating yourself. Number 10. Toxic Waste Chew Bar Okay, it should be obvious from the name Toxic Waste that this candy is unhealthy for you. Is any candy ever safe though? The Toxic Waste Chew Bar was a Pakistani-made candy famous for being extremely sour and allegedly for the ability to harm. After some health issues are brought up, the nuclear sludge variant, which had been introduced in 2007, was withdrawn in 2011. After extensive testing, the FDA concluded that the nuclear sludge chew bar was not safe to eat and advised against using it. But was it all that shocking? What did consumers expect? Given that the candy was covered in a bright yellow caution-like tape and that the company's website included the screech of a loud warning horn, the candy was recalled by the American distributor of nuclear sludge chew bars after a large amount of lead was discovered in the candies, nearly three times the permitted lead levels. Although no one had yet become ill after eating the candy, the FDA warned that the high lead content could pose a risk to young children, newborn infants, and expectant mothers. This led to its removal and U.S. prohibition because it was better safe than sorry. Number 9. Hippy Sippy It's well known that the 1960s were, should we say, a little experimental. Hippy Sippy, a Japanese import produced in 1968, was evidence that almost anything could find a market in the 1960s. This candy was a toy made of plastic that included colorful pellets. All right, so far so good. However, in order to get the chocolate, you had to suck on a hypodermic style needle. And the bright chocolate balls were supposed to stand in for uppers and lowers. It's understandable that Hippy Sippies didn't exactly make parents feel all fuzzy as they were made to emulate the Hippie Society. It's not healthy for anyone to encourage children to pretend to use illegal substances. This product was definitely sending the wrong message to kids, indirectly saying that taking illicit substances was fun. And it was made even worse by a button that was attached to the thin tip and branded with phrases like, I'll try anything and we sell happiness. It goes without saying that this experimental candy was quickly removed from the shelves after barely a year. However, if you're interested, you can find some on eBay, but not at a low price. Number 8. Milky Way Milky Way ah, A delicious chocolate bar so good it might transport you to the galaxy. Although it's said that life is better in the Milky Way, is it healthier there? Most likely not. It's probably worse. Even though not all Milky Way bars are dangerous, one in particular has the potential to harm many people, and it's the one we tend to overlook the most. The Milky Way fun size bars are meant to aid in portion control and limit calorie and sugar intake, but that isn't precisely the case. A serving of these tiny chocolate bars has about 20 grams of sugar, which is a lot for a two bite treat, especially given that the full size version just adds 10 grams. Why bother if getting the fun size won't make a difference? Additionally, they have hydrogenated palm kernel oil, which is incredibly harmful to our hearts, the environment, and even the existence of orangutans. Additionally, the caramel and nougat center is notorious for irritatingly sticking to the teeth, which can lead to cavities. Additionally, this tiny candy bar contains 9 grams of fat, 7 of which are saturated, and more than 200 calories. So yeah, if you're concerned about your teeth and your health, maybe try to avoid these Milky Ways. If you think these are dangerous, things are about to get more dangerous. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Tamarind Lollipops Who doesn't enjoy tasty, spicy flavored Mexican candy? What if the candy was a Mexican treat that also happened to contain lead? Because lead's included in them, tamarind lollipops, no matter how fantastic they may be, are no longer sold in the United States. We know that consuming large amounts of lead can harm the brain and central nervous system, leading to serious learning disabilities and death in some extreme situations. Only this time, something happened that forced the government to move quickly. The imported Bolorindo Tamarind Candy Lollipop with the Doomlex brand name was the source of the lead poisoning risk. The soft, dark brown tamarind fruit candy lollipop was the subject of an investigation by the California Department of Health Services after a routine blood test revealed that a two-year-old Orange County child had extremely high levels of lead. It was found that the kid had taken the lollipops before coming over. This candy was eventually banned because it had been linked to two additional instances of lead poisoning. The candy wrappers had a lead content of approximately 22,000 parts per million, which some kids frequently lick or eat. The candy has a lead content of roughly 2,000 ppm, whereas the sticks have about 400 ppm. Number 6. Smarties Smarties appear harmless enough. They're just little sweets, right? Sure, they have a rather medicinal appearance and flavor, but that isn't the issue. Kids snorting the candy is the source of the issue. 
snorting. You heard that right. Children would crush up a few Smarties at the back of their classrooms and inhale them. Kids try to mimic the act of, uh, well, ingesting another kind of chemical that some adults take as worrisome. But this habit also has health hazards, just like with any other powder going up your nose. These dangers include chronic breathing, asthma attacks, and nasal maggots. Okay, so that last one happens relatively infrequently, but it can. Number 5. Hershey's Take 5 don't worry if you haven't eaten enough sugar to last you until next Halloween. Hershey's Take 5 is the ideal solution, given its crazy components. Take 5 is likely one of the unhealthiest chocolate bars on the market. This bar's extensive ingredient list includes partly hydrogenated oil, more often referred to as trans fat. Trans fats have been linked to illnesses like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke, and have the potential to alter the ratio of good to bad cholesterol. Since sugar is listed as the first ingredient overall in Hershey's Take 5, it also carries a serious sugar punch. With a fourth of your daily recommended saturated fat intake in each regular size bar, you need to be especially cautious. However, in response to consumer outrage, the company aims to eliminate all GMO ingredients and artificial flavors from its chocolates. Therefore, while the recovery is in progress, if you want to give your arteries a break, don't take five. Wait, I didn't mean five pieces of candy, I meant don't take take five. Duh. Number 4. Nestle Magic Ball The Nestle Magic Ball is undoubtedly something you know about if you were born in the 1990s. These enormous hollow milk chocolate balls were incredibly popular and almost certainly made it onto every kid's wish list. The Magic Balls had a tiny surprise item inside, similar to Kinder Surprise. A typical example would be a little plastic figure of a Disney or Pokemon character. It was the perfect nibble. Who among children doesn't enjoy receiving a toy along with their chocolate? To the dismay of all children, the miraculous substance was abruptly removed from the shelves in the late 1990s. But why? Selling sweets with a toy or other non-nutritive object inserted in them is unlawful in the United States. Parents were also worried that children wouldn't be able to discern the differences between the chocolate and the toy inside the chocolate shell, which posed a choking threat. Despite claiming that the toy was secure, Nestle eventually withdrew the product. Starting now, things get even worse. Keep watching until the end. Number 3. Sour Patch Kids Colorful food is typically very nutritious. It's like natural law. However, items with fake artificial colors like Sour Patch Kids are exempt from this rule. While many people love these tart candies, that doesn't make them any less bad for you. Furthermore, it shouldn't be surprising given that the first three ingredients on the list are corn syrup, invert sugar, and sugar. Invert sugar is a combination of glucose and fructose. Amazingly, the two-ounce package of Sour Patch Kids has 36 grams of sugar in it. It's not like the remaining ingredients are much better. Artificial coloring and preservatives like citric acid aren't exactly the healthiest options. It goes without saying that they offer absolutely no nutritional advantages. Due to its low cost of production, high fructose corn syrup is added to many refined items, even though it's been linked to numerous ailments, including diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, and many more. Number 2. Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears Gummy bears made by Haribo are unquestionably some of the best available. They know how to make the sweet and chewy stuff that people enjoy with distinctive and flavorful items. The business has experienced a few failures throughout the years, though, like the time they attempted to produce sugar-free gummy bears. Eliminating sugar is a laudable objective. Since sugar is terrible for you and harms your teeth, the concept was sound. But what about the execution? Not at all. In 2014, the unfortunate sugar-free gummy bears attracted a lot of attention when people began to experience some unfavorable side effects after consuming the candy. How come? Because Haribo decided to use lycosin instead of sugar in their gummy bears. A sugar alcohol called lycosin is almost as sweet as sugar and half as many calories. Although it may have seemed like the ideal sugar substitute, this wasn't the case. Because our bodies can't properly digest it, it may cause some unpleasant side effects. Lycosin can even ferment in our stomachs if it's in high concentrations. The meaning of fermenting in our guts was quickly and precisely described in reviews on Amazon, and many customers eloquently described their own experiences. Number 1. Candy Cigarettes Candy cigarettes, as their name implies, were candies meant to resemble packs of cigarettes. They might be made of chalky sugar, bubblegum, or chocolate. They were packaged, labeled, and wrapped in paper to resemble cigarettes. Some candy sticks even had powdered sugar at the tip, which you could blow through to simulate smoke. I'm sure you can already see where this is going wrong. The candy was created with assistance from tobacco producers and originally went on sale in the late 1900s. The branding was present on the candy packets, allowing kids to mimic what adults were doing. According to certain studies, smokers were likelier than non-smokers to have used candy cigarettes as children. 
Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.